Today we're going to be running Monster Hunter Wilds on a Mac. So unfortunately there is no Mac port of the game and we can't run the Windows version through Parallels or Crossover the normal way we'd run these Windows titles. However, the game can be streamed using a service called Boosteroid. And of course, this isn't exactly the same as running the game on your actual machine. All of the data is actually going to be streamed through the internet, through the cloud, and it's going to work a little bit like video streaming. All the graphics and data are being rendered on a remote server and we're just viewing it on our Mac screen. But the latency isn't actually too bad at all as I'm going to show you today. It's actually extremely playable, especially if you live near one of Boosteroid's data centers. So today I'm going to show you how all of that works. We're going to be installing the native ARM Boosteroid app for Apple Silicon Max. We'll be connecting it up with your Steam account. We're going to be loading up this game and getting it working as well as possible on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing that we're going to do is to click the link at the top of the description. Every time that you sign up, I'm going to receive a small commission and you'd be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and sign up. So just click on the sign in button. And if you don't have an account already, then just click this button here, create an account. Then what we're going to do here is to type in our email address password. So once we've entered those details, we need to go into our email account and we need to click the link that's been emailed to us in order to activate our account. So just go ahead and sign back into your account. So one thing we should check before we actually pay any money is whether your internet connection is fast enough. And handily, once you've signed in, there's a new button on the top right here, which is basically a connection test button. So go ahead and press the start button here. This service is going to work best if you're located near to one of these data centers. For example, this part is North America. And a lot of the servers are also based in Western Europe as well. As long as you're near one of these servers, then you're going to have a decent connection. Here I'm showing getting 65 megabit, which is over the recommended 25. And my latency is 15 milliseconds, which is under the 20 millisecond recommendation. So my connection is good enough. However, if you're not getting a good signal, then I do recommend switching from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. So my MacBook is actually connected by Ethernet at the moment. So this is a USB-C to Gigabit Ethernet hub. And I'm connected to my router via this this cable. So this is going to be the best way to actually connect to your local internet. So once we're sure our internet is good enough, what we're going to do is to go back and press the subscribe and play button. So here you have a choice of the standard or the ultra edition. So the main difference is that the standard edition only goes up to 1080p 60 frames per second, but the ultra edition allows you to go up to 4k and 120 FPS and more. So personally, I recommend doing a standard edition one month just to try it out, but you will get significant savings if this is the right thing for you. If you actually sign up for a 12 month contract, contract, this is going to be substantially less. So what I want to do is go ahead and press the subscribe button. And then all you need to do is to accept the terms and conditions and then enter your credit card details and then make a payment. Another thing that you should probably do as well is to go into your account details and then go ahead and synchronize your Steam account. So here under Steam, we're going to press the connect button here and we need to go ahead and sign into our Steam account in order for these two things to link up. So here I'm going to do is press the sign in button here. And now all of these games are now synchronized to the Boosteroid account and many of those games can now be played through Boosteroid through cloud streaming. So once you've actually signed up, it's time to actually download the Boosteroid software. So this is going to make it substantially easier to use rather than trying to log in through your web browser. So here at the top, there's an option here, Boosteroid on your device. If you click on this link, it's going to take us to the download Boosteroid page. I will also leave a link to this in the description as well. And since we're running this on an Apple Silicon Mac, we want the native ARM version of the client software. So just go ahead and click on this button, download for macOS M1, M2, or of course M3 as well, and then click save. Then we're going to go ahead and open up Finder and then go to our downloads folder. And then we're going to find Boosteroid install ARM64, double click on this. And then we're going to drag and drop Boosteroid into our applications folder. So so within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find our Boosteroid app, which we're going to find here, and then double click. Here it's saying it's an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure we want to open it? Press open. So here it's asking us to give permission for Boosteroid to accept keystrokes. Press this button, open system settings. Then under privacy and security and under input monitoring, we're actually going to toggle and allow Boosteroid to accept those keystrokes. Then go ahead and type in your password. Here we're going to press quit and reopen. That's going to go ahead and reopen Boosteroid. If Boosteroid doesn't reopen, just click on Boosteroid again to load it up. So now what we need to do is to go ahead and log into the account that we created and subscribe to. So here's asking us whether we want to share app crash log reports, click allow. And then here we have the change log, press OK. And now we're basically ready to go. So we're going to be pairing up a controller today. So I'm going to take my DualSense controller and then hold the share button and then the home button until it starts to blink. So once that starts to blink, then what I'm going to do is to go into my settings under Bluetooth, so system settings, go to Bluetooth, and then go to the bottom here. And uh, this is still flashing here under nearby devices. I'm going to add my DualSense wireless controller. 
and then the light is going to go blue there. So you can see that this dual sense is now been paired. So one thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have Monster Hunter Wilds on our Steam account. So I'm gonna open up macOS Steam, or you can log in to the website, and then we're gonna make sure that Monster Hunter Wilds is actually part of our account. So I'm gonna make a purchase of this and associate it with the Steam account that we've logged into Boostroid on. So just go ahead, add a purchase. We're gonna add the basic version, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a payment and add it to our account. So once that purchase has been made, if we go back to Boosteroid and we go into our account, if we do a search for Monster Hunter Wilds, we have the ability to go ahead and play this. So we can get the game here or we can just press install and play because it's part of our Steam account that we've logged into already. Go ahead and press install and play. So now it's saying here you've got a line and it's going to go ahead and launch. Here it's saying connecting to server. So here it's saying that my connection right now is okay. So I'm using a new internet connection at the moment, which is pretty bad. So my latency is a bit worse than normal. However, on your connection, if you're getting under 20, then that's gonna be performing a lot better through cloud streaming. So here we're gonna accept everything and it's gonna download the game on the actual Boostroid servers themselves. So now it's saying optimizing game data. So we'll press confirm here. And we've created some save data. We're gonna use the English language. And then we're gonna go ahead and enter our age. We'll just agree to the privacy policy. And then we're just gonna go through all the brightness settings. Press continue. Next, just go through everything. And then go ahead. So here we're loading up to the main title screen and it all seems to be working fine. Here we're playing through the intro sequence and of course all of this data is being streamed through the internet. So it all depends on the speed of your internet connection and whether this is reliable or not, but we're managing to play at a decent frame rate and at high graphics settings. Now, personally, I'm not able to test this on a proper internet connection. I'm actually using a 5G router in order to play this game at the moment. So I'm getting 44 milliseconds, but it's actually much more variable than that. It can go much higher or even lower. So we're not getting a particularly consistent experience. However, you can see that my latency is actually okay K. The button prompts seem to match up quite closely to the action that happens on screen. This whole thing is really reliant on your internet. In a previous video, I tested out my latency using a standard BT broadband connection and I got much better latency there. So this is probably much more indicative of what you might get if you chose to use Boosteroid. Here I'm testing out in the tutorial area of Hell Divers 2. And when I load up an actual level, this doesn't seem to be too bad either. So I'm testing out my DualSense controller and uh, we're getting very, very close to native-like gaming experience. So anyway, this is the only current way of being able to play Monster Hunter Wilds using Mac hardware. So if this actually ever becomes available to play through crossover or parallels, most likely crossover in the future, then I'll definitely cover that but for now, in a pinch, if you want to play this on a Mac and you happen to have a good internet connection close to the Boosteroid servers, then this is going to tide you through until then. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.